Okay, here's part two of working with the shoulders on a sequence um, that I learned from Ramanand. So we'll have our blocks here against the wall, and we'll start out with uh, fingers pointing up. So on a slanted block like this, fingers pointing up, and you can you can be here and stay here and breathe, or you can come up to downward dog and work on the hands. So if you if you have your hand here and you just bend the hand back, you'll get some puffiness on the wrist. So you bend the, the if you if you grab the wrist with these fingers here and you just bring the palm back. You get a little bit of puffiness here. If you grab these these fingers and you pull the skin down very, very um, sort of tightly and you bring the wrist up back, you, you, sort, you can sort of remove some of that, um, we call it puffiness on the wrist. And that's what you want. So when you're doing these, uh, when you're working with the, with the hands and you have this angle, you really want to kind of uh, pull the, you don't want to collapse into your hand. You just really, uh, make the arms active and pull them up so that you don't get this sort of collapse right here on the wrist. I'm going to move the hands to the side and do the same thing. Maybe here is enough. I have enough of a stretch. Maybe I can come up to downward dog and really press the palm against the block and don't collapse right at this, um, at this joint here. You know, pull that up. Explore and see how, how you can work with that. So here we go. And then the third pose would be uh, fingers pointing down. And you can come to downward dog and work on the hands like this. Mm -hmm. 